Hello everybody, Voodoo51292 here, and uh, thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, we are filming another channel update. Tonight is Tuesday, February the 26th of 2013. Uh, coming to you a little bit late this week. Um, you actually won't see this until Wednesday when it'll be uploaded, so I do apologize it's a little late this week. Um, <clears throat> and I've decided that officially for the first time uh, since I've started doing these channel updates over two years ago uh, every channel update until this one I've basically said like the week that the channel update covers and I'm no longer gonna be doing gonna be doing that anymore um, because I figure that you guys are perfectly capable of figuring out the week that it covers obviously the week that I'm talking about or the week that you know the channel update comes out. And a lot of times I talk about things further in the future. I think I talk about things further in the past. So I'm done talking about the range of week of days of the week that the channel update covers. And I'm actually going to be writing the title a little bit differently. I'm actually going to be writing out, um, you know, channel update and then the month abbreviation, the actual number of the day and uh, the year. I think it'll just look better instead of all those numbers and slashes and dashes and all that other kind of stuff that I used to have. It looked really jumbled and not aesthetically pleasing. Um, but you'll see by the title of this video how I'm going to be titling them from now on, okay? So just a minor little kind of cosmetic change that I think will just kind of clean things up and make things look nicer. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's February 26th of 2013. And... Um, a good bit to cover in this channel update, so I will try to be concise. Uh, but last week um, was mainly, as far as gameplay, con uh, well, it was all as far as gameplay concerns, Dead Space 3. Uh, last week, the internet at school was being very slow for some reason, and sometimes this happens where at the beginning of this semester, I could upload videos at school um, in like two to three minutes. I mean, I could just blaze through videos. This past week, um, it slowed down considerably and I couldn't up I, uploading videos took like 10 to 20 minutes sometimes so it took me a few days to get actually caught up to part 50 of Dead Space 3 where I had left off um, playing last week uh, but I finally caught up today with that but we recorded new videos tonight so again I'm not caught up but we'll get into that so Dead Space 3 continued here on the channel last week uh, another thing that I want to mention before we continue is that I have hit 100,000 total video views on my, um, you know, throughout my videos on my channel. That's a big milestone. I want to thank everybody um, who's provided me with views over the past uh, couple of years. It means a lot to me to hit the 100,000 mark. Um, it's pretty cool to be in triple figures and total views now. So thank you very much for all of that. Uh, I really appreciate it and. Uh, I hope it keeps up. So that was a big milestone that happened this past week. Then I made a very big uh, special announcement video. I finally made it. I've been talking about it for like a month and because of illness and all kinds of other stuff I hadn't been able to make it. But basically what I announced in the video was that um, Brandon and I were going to be bringing back our very successful podcast Voodoo's Brew very soon. And I actually got a chance to uh, get on Skype and uh, talk to Brandon on this past Saturday night. We talked for a couple of hours. We haven't talked for months, but we got to talking and it was it just was natural. It just went back like old times. Um, like we had never stopped talking. We just clicked right again instantly. That chemistry is still there. Um, we had a great talk. We had a lot of fun. And we're excited to bring Voodoo's Brew back. And I have some exciting news for you regarding Voodoo's Brew um, this week actually. So, that's pretty much what was done last week. It was Dead Space 3 continuing and the big announcement um, about Voodoo's Brew. And if you're wondering more specifics about that or the reasons behind it or anything like that, be sure to go check out that video. It's been the featured video on my channel all through uh, this past week, okay? So I think most people got a chance to check it out. Um, I also asked on my past channel update for advice. Um, on which game I should play next, either Tomb Raider or God of War, because of my situation with Gamefly, there's no way I'd be able to play them both back to back, so I wanted people to tell me. I actually got a lot of, of feedback, probably 
more than I, I usually do when I ask those type of questions, and it was overwhelmingly Tomb Raider. Now, for some reason, all but like one of the comments were marked as spam. I don't know why. I don't know who did that. It wasn't me. I went th to the comments and saw them all and hit not spam on all of them, so I don't know if they're actually showing up now on the video or whatever, but the important thing is I saw it, and I saw like seven or eight votes for Tomb Raider and like one vote for God of War. Well, I have some plans, or I have some news that might unfortunately force me into one of these games, um, which I will explain uh, very shortly, because we're going to be moving on to next week now, uh, and some weeks ahead. So, uh, another thing that I actually finished tonight, I actually beat Mass Effect 3. Um, so I am now officially done with the Mass Effect trilogy of games amazing set of games um, definitely the only series of games for me that contests with Bioshock for my favorite series ever uh, I still think that Mass Effect 2 is my favorite even though Mass Effect 3 is really good I think I like Mass Effect 2 a little bit more um, but still really good and I'm kinda sad it's over but uh, certainly I love those series that series of games they're great and I'm planning on doing another playthrough of Mass Effect 2 and 3 doing Renegade because I did Paragon and making a bunch of different critical decisions to see how the story plays out. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that I that I, I now officially have had the Mass Effect experience completely. So, looking forward to this week. Well, this week will obviously be the continuation and conclusion, uh, more than likely, of Dead Space 3. Now, because Again, Dave and I played some more tonight. Um, we're now around about 13 hours into the game. The game is telling us we're only about 60-something percent of the way through the game. And unfortunately, what that means is that it's looking like we're not going to be able to beat the game in time for me to send it back to Gamefly and for Gamefly to get it back by this Saturday, which they would have to in order for me to get Tomb Raider next week. Um... I really didn't plan on Dead Space taking us this long to beat, but we've wasted a lot of time um, replaying certain parts of this game that are really frustrating and really poorly designed. Um, you'll see one such part in the footage that we took tonight that I need to upload. Um, we've just wait it, it's just been a, a big waste of time on some of these parts that we've died repeatedly and because the parts some parts of this game are really stupid, I'll just be honest with you. They're really poorly made. Um, so it's taking us longer than expected, and again, I know everybody wanted, or, or the majority of people wanted to see Tomb Raider next week, and I wanted to play Tomb Raider. I pretty much decided that that was the game I was going to play. Unfortunately, because it's taken us so long to play Dead Space 3, again, between my illness, you know, if I hadn't gotten sick for like a week and a half, we probably would have beaten it, but it is what it is. Um, we basically would have to beat the entire game tomorrow for me to even have a shot to get the game back in time, and I just don't think that's going to happen. So, it looks like my hand is kind of being forced to play God of War Ascension first in two weeks and not be able to do Team Raider next week. And I know it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but fret not, because I will definitely be checking out Tomb Raider this, this year as long as it doesn't get like universally panned, which I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to be a pretty good game. Um, I definitely will be checking that game out when I have some downtime this year, so during the summer, um, something like that will be a time I'll be checking out Tomb Raider. Um, I'm definitely not going to skip it uh, completely, again, unless it gets panned, but I don't think it's going to. So, I don't know, miracles still happen, so maybe by some miracle we beat Dead Space 3, all of it tomorrow, get the game back in, and it, it gets there and we get Tomb Raider, I don't know, but I can tell you that most likely... We're not going to get, or I'm not going to get the game back in time. It sucks, I know, but it's just how it is. And I had I had to reduce to one game out of the time. That's originally why I switched the two games out at once to avoid this kind of problem. But I just couldn't afford it anymore. It was costing me too much money. So it is what it is. Uh, so it looks like God of War Ascension will be the next game I play in two weeks, simply based on timing issues, okay? Um, but the plan is to beat Dead Space 3 at some point this week. And once we do that, I will be reviewing the game with a Voodoo's Verdict for the first time with another person. I'll be reviewing it with Dave, whom I played the game with uh, co-op. We will be reviewing the game. You'll be noticing a little bit of a change to Voodoo's Verdict as far as presentation. 
I'm actually doing some things to spiff it up. I'm actually going to be adding custom thumbnails to all of my Voodoo's Verdict, as well as a custom introduction tailored to each Voodoo's Verdict. Um, so it will look a lot nicer. Uh, so be sure to look out for that when the Dead Space 3 Voodoo's Verdict comes up. And then let me just check how much time I have to talk about what I want to talk about. Man, a lot. I keep, I've been doing really well lately of keeping these videos down on time. I used to be terrible with it, but I'm doing a lot better. Um, two more things I want to touch on. One quickly is Crisis 3, um, which I said I might be checking out again later this year, uh, if it was surprisingly good or whatever. The only thing I'm going to comment on is that on Gamefly, the, the game has a ratings of like around 8, which is what Crisis 2 did. And I watched um, DSP's recent video where he talked about him playing Crisis 3. He said he's played it for like two hours, hates the game, and is quitting it. And basically he complains about all the same stuff in Crisis 3 that I complained about two years ago on Crisis 2 and nobody listened to me and just trolled me and said that I had no idea what I was talking about. He talked about how the invisibility is broken and doesn't work. He talked about how you can beat whole levels of the game simply by running through the stage to the next checkpoint and you beat this, the stage without ever firing a bullet. He talked about how it's a terrible port to the Xbox 360 and it's buggy as hell. These are all things that I talked about with Crisis 2 tier, two years ago. And now he claims that he still liked Crisis 2 and that he thought it was a good game. I beg to differ because I noticed that all those same problems were present in Crisis 2. The fact that you could just run through a level and beat it without ever firing a bullet, you could do that in Crisis 2. The invisibility, did it was broken and didn't work in Crisis 2. The only thing I can think about is that maybe it ran well on Xbox 360, but it didn't run well on PS3, which is what I played it on at the time. It was buggy as hell. One of the buggiest games I've ever played uh, was Crisis 2 on the PS3. I thought the game was trash. And it's funny now to see, two years later, somebody like DSP play Crisis 3 and basically complain and talk about all the same problems that I had talked about two years ago with Crisis 2. So apparently, they've changed to nothing. Apparently, the game is still terrible. It has all the same flaws as Crisis 2. And people are still, for some reason, rating it 8 because they think the graphics are pretty or whatever. I don't understand, but will I be checking out that game? Probably not, because do I really want to play another game uh, that was just as bad as Crisis 2, you know, when I have all kinds of other games I could be playing? No. So, I'm not surprised that Crisis 3 is trash, because I thought Crisis 2 was. Um, but anyway... Moving on to the last thing I want to talk about, which is Voodoo's Brew. Right now, the plan is that we are, Brandon and I are actually going to film episode one of Voodoo's Brew this Thursday night. Um, that's the plan. Uh, right now, I have nothing really going on Thursday night. Uh, I might have some work to do, but I can get that out of the way between tomorrow and then. And the plan is to film episode one. Now, one other thing I did want to mention is that I did not do a Voodoo's Thoughts on the PlayStation 4, the reveal of the Sony press conference. I did watch all two hours of it. The reason that I did not do that is because I'm saving that for Episode 1 of Voodoo's Brew. Brandon and I will be talking about the PlayStation 4. There's been actually more news that's come out, um, some things that I actually don't like uh, that have come out about the PS4 since the conference. Um, and... You know, just to go over some of the things Brandon and I will be talking about in... I, I don't know why I keep saying episode 1, like we're redoing it. It's going to be episode 10. We, the last one we did was episode 9. We're going to continue numbering them in order. Um, but it's like, you know, it's it's the revival. It's the bringing back of Voodoo's Brew. So we're going to be talking about... Uh, Brandon and I are going to be doing catching up. Uh, we're going to be talking to each other about how we've been, what we've been up to in the past six months. Because last Saturday was the first time I've even had a real conversation with him in months. So there's a lot for us to talk about. We're going to be talking about what we've been uh, playing, uh, our thoughts on different games from last year, stuff like that. We're we'll talking about games coming up, you know, this year that we're excited about playing. Um, we're going to be talking about, you know, Voodoo's Brew, about bringing it back. Uh, we're going to be discussing some ideas between us about where, where we want the series to go and things like that, and share with you guys where we, you know, the direction that we'd like to move in. Um, 
stuff like that. And then, as I said, we're going to be talking about the Sony conference, the, the announcement of the PS4. Um, we're going to go back into talking about a lot of the same things we used to talk about on the brew. Um, and really delving into this, this PS4 thing and what we think about the games that were shown and some of the news that's come out recently about features with the PlayStation 4 and things like that. Um, so it's going to be a really good episode. We've got a lot to talk about. Uh, one of the things that I want to try to focus on with Voodoo's Brew that we're bringing it back is to keep it around 90 minutes, an hour and a half. Because uh, sometimes, that's usually about where we got before, but uh, I think if we put like a, if it's normally 90 minutes every week, it gives some consistency to it, and we don't go too far over um, rambling, and we don't way undercut the episode. So probably around 90 minutes, uh, we'll be talking about all sorts of things, so you're not going to want to miss Booze Brew episode 10, the rebirth, the reboot of, not, it, it's not really a reboot, because again, we're just continuing, it's going to just be episode 10, it's just been on a long hiatus basically, but it's the the rebirth, so to speak, of Voodoo's Brew, um, you know, bringing it back, and, and we're really excited about it. I've actually created some custom pictures and stuff like that for it that I will be integrating into the the YouTube, you know, video of Voodoo's Brew, which is just our recording audio track laid over some pictures and stuff. I'm going to be experimenting with the video editor with Voodoo's Brew in the future, things like that. Um, and I actually made a custom picture for you guys, the listeners, uh, for the Zombie Army. I actually made a a special picture for the Zombie Army that you will see featured um, in the uh, the episode. So the plan is to film it on Thursday and to get it out at some point this weekend, either on Friday or Saturday, uh, depending on you know how long it takes me to do the video editing stuff that I want to do with it and of course with the upload so um yeah right now the plan to film it on Thursday night to get that up for you guys uh at some point over the weekend either Friday or Saturday and leave that up as the featured video uh over the weekend and we're very excited about it so I hope that you will all come back and check out the rebirth of Voodoo's Brew if you were used to be a viewer or if you've never seen an episode Either way, come and check it out. It's going to be a really good episode, and uh, for those of you who are new and haven't met Brandon, you'll get an opportunity to meet him. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching this channel update. Uh, again, quick recap this week. Expect the conclusion of Dead Space 3 at some point, the co-op Voodoo's Verdict of Dead Space 3 with myself and Dave, and also right now, as it's scheduled, um, episode 10 the bringing back of Voodoo's Brew. If plans change with that, I will let everybody know. Um, but that's the that's the plan right now. Okay. So thanks for watching. I'm Voodoo Five Twelve Ninety Two. I will update you guys on next week's channel update about the situation of Tomb Raider uh, and God of War and what I'm going to be doing with that. So I will let you guys know about that coming up. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll see you this week for Dead Space Three and Voodoo's Brew. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later this week.